I didn't know what to do or where to go, and somehow my feet started walking down the street, across the bridge, past the Metropole Cinema, and do you know where? No, where? Right into the library. The library? Can you imagine? <laughs> well, how did you like it? Oh, you've never seen such a place. So many books. So much marble. And so quiet. And suddenly, all of my confidence dribbled away with a pitiful plop. My head was beginning to swim, and my forehead was covered with cold perspiration. I started to reach for a book, and my hand automatically came to a stop. I don't know how long I stood frozen a victim of panic and mortification. Oh, how I wanted to flee when a kindly voice a gentle voice whispered, pardon me. Pardon me. Uh-huh. And there was this dear, sweet, clearly respectable, thickly bespectacled man who stood by my side and quietly said to me, ma'am, don't mean to intrude, but I was just wondering, are you in need of some help? I said no. <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> the next thing I know, I'm sipping hot chocolate and telling my troubles to Paul, whose tender brown eyes kept sending compassionate looks. A trip to the library has made a new girl of me, for suddenly I can see the magic of books. Ha, ha, ha.